Oi boys, welcome back, welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back with some Rugby League Life 4 one-offs. This time bringing back a team we haven't seen since 2021. The NRL Vets, the class of 2024. And the last time we played on this team, we had the likes of Josh Jackson, Benji Marshall, David Mead, Corey Thompson. Our players like that were in the team. We do have a few reoccurring faces and some new. I think the age cutoff was 33. Uh, yeah, we got like Kofusi in the front row, out center, hilarious, Damien Cook out wide, we're actually short on outside backs, but yeah, it should be fun, pretty much same settings, legend and whatnot. As long as we're not getting continuously bumped and shotted, we should have a pretty decent experience here as we get our first possession of the game, and yeah, that's one of the vets of the Roosters, Daniel Dupo, as Jenko jumps into hooker here. DCE plays out the back to the Bellin. Oh, I thought we could actually step. They had one of their markers offside. That's when that play works the best. Let's see, try something else. Intricate couldn't find a man on the inside. It looked like we opened it up too. Yeah, that was terrible. Terrible work trying to clear that with the white head. Just gifting the Panthers here on the 20, a full set to work. Twelve outs. They go for the scoop with Mitch Kenny and he stopped. About half a meter out here. Cleary lobs on out and one on one, Brian Toll gets around Dane Gagai. Oh nice. That might come in handy. I'm trying to put some put some nice moves together with this veteran squad. That's got full C place to Walker. Little we'll cut out ball. Thought we stripped them again, but that Panthers defense holding pretty solid. It's interesting how they give us these plays as we break the line and can't find Walker back on the inside. Uh, gives us those plays out wide, right? Or deep in our half. They're going to be super useful if you can uh, create or put the players in space like we just did there. We just couldn't find that final pass. As they come left, that's a solid tackle by the vet. Michael Jennings on Taruva. Gets a bit of drive going too. That's got Fussy playing in the middle for us. How about Cook in the center? So we got to try to get him over. Up goes the Gary Owen. And Gags. We'll make the grab, we'll take that. Let's see if we can get cooking again in this set. Here it is. Straight through. That's a little cheese, can't lie. A cook in open space, you love to see. Alright, I think we're doing too much in attack. Definitely. Oh, kill him! Do Edwards with the footwork. Walker giving chase is nowhere near. And it's still Edwards who will get away from Jennings and company. That's eight on the board for the Panthers. Soon to be ten from right in front. Okay, so looking at these damn stats, the boys are having an absolute Barry Crocker, 1 from 5, 4 errors, and check out the Panthers, 64%, 7 from 7, only the one tackle missed. We've made 6 line breaks, but man, we keep turning it over. I can't believe it's been 2 years since we played with this team. You'd think of how long it took to make these jerseys and whatnot, that I'd, <laughs> I'd spend more than a couple matches on this team. I think we only made one video. Oh no, I think two. Oh, we only played a couple of times and I've got to say, going through this, uh, getting all these players in the team is pretty fun, especially for the next one-off video we got coming up, the Young Guns. I'm excited for that because the class of this year is insane as the Panthers do give away a penalty, we'll take that. But like I was saying, there's like so much young talent these days. 
and I believe the team I've got assembled is under 20s so I thought we'd struggle for forwards that's what happened last time we made a young guns team but the squad we got assembled for 20s and under is pretty stacked as we get belted here late switch of play and we get Jordan Raffiner through finally for our first points of the day something nice and clean I mean we've had plenty of same supply for every single video from here on out no slanting of the kicks makes the kicks more interesting or more challenging Three, nothing more off. satisfying then breaking the line with smooth uh, smooth plays clean plays like this you no know, like sidesteps or fence barely stays in the field of play Granville played all over the park for the Cowboys we had to get him in oh, that's tough that's tough I thought we could squeeze through oh it comes up for Panther and that is our ball we'll take that scrambling right there I thought DC could sprint through that tiny gap apparently not Panthers defense and up on a to Walker no way we're getting away from anybody Walker's speed just ain't it Rapana oh the footwork and he's away from Dill Edwards now that doesn't happen often the old sidestep the animation not triggering it always throws me off but it does look kind of sick or through knock on couldn't put boot to ball I guess these boys are just too slow to get the kick off Panthers on the move here inside the 20 with a couple to go white Fisher Harris Through the middle, Liam Martin. Last play, got to keep him out. Wow, how did he get that kick off? And we're trapped in goals. Let's see. If there's any squad that can survive a little bit of goal line adversity, you'd think it would be this pack of hard nosed veterans. The Panthers. We're going to retake the lead. There's actually not much time left, although it does say 20. The inside ball works, and he throws another one too many straight into the breadbasket of Jack DeBellin. Nowhere near home, but we do stop that little raid. We're going to avoid the traps in the middle. Make sure we're holding that right stick down for those driving runs too. It's DCE. Goes wide, finds Jennings. Ooh, that was stupid. That was stupid. We get it back though. Karen Foreign, all right. Now we, we walk this one in. Oh, come on. Got a crowd. Edwards here. Penrith, here he is, and we have a backup defender pulling him down now. This should be the game, unless they pull off a miracle try. We have Henry, a steamrolling run, falls all over him though. Last play of the game, trying to catch these markers sleeping. <laughs> and he almost got it too, the penalty, but we do hold on for the dub here against the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back premiers with this team of NRL veterans full-time full-time and the NRL vets get the job done it uh, turns out that two points that missed conversion ended up being the difference but yeah we're gonna wrap it up there next time will be our uh, young guns most likely for now though 
If you did enjoy the video, be sure to run and show that like button for more rugby league related content or more content in general. Go ahead and drop your boy a cheeky sub. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later.